back pain. Right, Anthony G. Spin City, of course, from the great station Unique Radio. Org, and we're in the studio right now with, of course, the great and lovely uh, Miss Kasia. <laughs> Miss Kasia, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Right. Now, obviously, the interview is about you. Okay. And in this interview, I just want you to let the UK, London, and the world know exactly what it's about in terms of your journey and where you're coming from and where you're heading to. Okay. Um, so, if I kind of cover where I'm coming from, I grew up in South London. Um, and my parents' origin are Trinidad and Grenada. For real, for real. Um, and those to be in British, so I have quite a mad mix. That's cool. Um, and I have been singing literally for as long as I can remember. It's always been a part of my life, always been something that I knew I wanted to do and, and you know, uh, make a career out of when I was older. Um, but I always wanted to get my education first, just in wow. case, you know, say for example, if there was a bad scenario that happened, then I lost my voice. Yeah, or for real. For whatever reason. So anyway, yeah. education it's sensible. was always so wise something move. I wanted to get. Um, wise after move. finishing college, I decided to pursue my singing career. Wow. Um, I was at a dance. I went to go and see Peter Hunningell sing, and um, my dad kind of knew him through a friend, through a friend, mm -hmm. and. Um, <laughs> Um, I, I wouldn't say audition, but I kind of sang for him. I sang Janet Kay silly games. Well, wow, you can't go wrong with that tune. No, that, that, that's a <laughs> in terms of lover rock, that is a real lover's rock tune. You can't go wrong. <laughs> but Biden, that you was in tune. I believe I was because you know, <laughs> a few weeks later, I was in the studio with him and we wow. recorded a song called Daddy. And that was your first ever track. Um, not my first ever track. I did some stuff in high school. Right, right, but a track that you you can relate to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And levels done at a certain level, right? Yes, exactly. Um, a while after that, I met Money Lamar, who is my now producer slash manager slash business partner. Right. And we recorded True Star for the Peckings label. Well, we know Peckings very well. Yeah. Big, big West London label. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, True Star, and we recorded a cover, Ain't That Loving You. All right. Big tune. Big tune. Ellis, Dennis yeah, Brown. Yeah. Um, and then myself and Money, we decided to um, go into our own business. And we formed the record label Back Pay Records. Wise move. Thank you. <laughs> Wise move. Because basically, what you're saying now, you're in control of what you're doing, basically, right? Definitely. You haven't got someone saying, no, you sign a contract, this is what you're going to do today. Yeah. You're in control of what no, you're doing. No, definitely. And it has a lot of pros and cons because obviously now the responsibility that really does right lie with myself. If, if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, it, it falls down. Exactly. Yeah. Spot on. Um, right. So. If I, sorry, just if I just carry on. Yeah. Um, and then we recorded "Time," which is my latest single. Big tune. Lovers rock song. Time. Yeah. I mean, I've, I mean, that, that's available on iTunes, isn't it? Yes, it is. iTunes, Amazon, um, all the downloadable stores. On the so, website. who actually produced that track, "Time"? Money Lamar. He, wow. He produced that. And what was the inspiration behind it? Um, he actually produced that before I had even met him. Wow. Um, and I actually wrote that before I had even met him. Okay. Um, so it was crazy. We were just going through the archive that came up, and the words that I had written just went so perfectly with, with the rhythm track. So it literally was like it was meant to be. And there's also a video for that, isn't there? Yes, as well? there is a video. You can go to www.youtube.com forward slash back pay TV spot B A C P A Y TV. Excellent. I want to talk about music scene right now. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of RB. What's the biggest concerts that you've done so far? Um, definitely have to be SWV and Faith Evans. Wow. That was Real so artists. Definitely. <laughs> Women that can sing amazingly. So I, was, I felt so blessed to be able to be on that stage and share that with them. Excellent. Excellent. Now, we know that you've got a Lovers Rock background. Lovers Rock music is something from the past, from, I don't know, the 70s, 80s. But it's, with, the, with that film that's been out recently, yeah. What do you think Lovers Rock is doing for people today now? Um, for the artists, you know, from, from back when you were seeing Sandra Cross, um, Peter Honeygirl, um, Cal, hear me, Carol Tom, Carol Tom, yeah, yeah, Carol Tom, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think it's really revived their career again yeah. because obviously, to be fair, Lovers Rock went silent for a while. Um, and we didn't really hear from them. Yeah, I hear that, I hear that, um, I hear that. And you know, now that it's back with that film coming out and everything, I've seen so many Lovers Rock shows been happening in and around London um, and around the UK, so I think it's really, it's a, it's a good thing that it's come back yeah. out again. For real, for real. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I think they're, they're, they're not going to lose. They're not going to lose because they revised something that a lot of people have been through as, as kids. 
who are now true. parents very and true. elders, if you like. Yeah. So it's, it's brilliant. But going back to our interview, now, who would you class as one of your favorite female singers right now? <laughs> and why? There are so many, there are so many, but in all honesty, and as an all-round artist, as a performer, you know, um, I would have to say Beyonce at the moment, because if you really watch her work ethic, yeah. She inspires you to do better because she's at the top of her game and what we may think is at the top of her game and she's still like putting it down like yeah. she's still on the hustle. It's 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 inspiring. Yeah, I'll give you credit. That's a fair statement. That's a fair statement. I, I wouldn't argue with that. What about your favourite male reggae vocal singer right now? <laughs> you know what? I think I have to say to us, Riley. <laughs> and there you, are so many. But why, why would you say Taurus Riley? Why wouldn't you say, I don't know, um, I don't know, Freddie McGregor or someone like that? Why, why would you say Taurus Riley? Was, I guess maybe because I've kind of done a show kind of with him it, and I've met him and I kind of know him on more of a personal note, I can maybe relate to him more. So you're saying that you've actually performed with Taurus Riley? Yes, yes. Um, December last year. Oh, okay. 2011 at the O2 Burst and Taurus Hut. That was a big show, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember no, that show, it was a big show. show. It was a good show, it was and a good show, and I, I was blessed enough that, you know, it wasn't even planned we were there. Um, I did my solo performance, um, and then we went backstage and Toss was like, Rock, hey, why don't you come on stage with me yeah. and sing and sing True Star and I'll yeah. sing Young Heart, because yeah. um, we both got on the same instrumental. So, yeah, it, it literally just happened on the day, and it was just a huge blessing. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I must admit, I know him personally, and he is, he does come across with a really, really clean character. You, yes, you feel that vibe, so he I can does. understand what you're saying. Very humble as well. Now, what does it take for you to keep at the current level that you're at now? <laughs> it, takes, it takes a lot of dedication. Um, it takes a lot of determination, a lot of passion, and um, it takes having a good team around you as well. Yeah. Someone that can keep you level-headed. Someone that is not just gonna tell you yes every minute. And you know, when, when you're not doing well, be you. straight with you. Be straight yeah, with you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and I push you that. to be better. Yeah, I respect that. Now, what are your goals for the next, shall we say, five years? What, what What's your goal? I definitely want to have at least, yeah, a world tour under my belt. Yeah. I want to have gone to Africa, gone to Japan, toured yeah. Europe, you know? Yeah. Um, I definitely want to have at least one album out, if not two, if not two albums out by then. Um, and and just you know, in the midst of making more music and and from promoting myself worldwide and making my brand, you know, Backpay Records. And I like that word brand. People. I like that word brand. I mean, that's heavy. You see, you said brand. It's not about just yourself, but a brand. Yeah, definitely. So you can build even build on top of that as definitely. well. Definitely. There's Miss Kasia and and Backpay Records because obviously being an artist under Backpay Records and as well as being an owner. We really are, myself and Money are trying to make that brand of Backpay Records. So, you know, five years time, I want to have another few artists on the label yeah. and, um, and That's selling real. their music. All That's that. real. Now, what advice would you give to anybody such as yourself or maybe a young male artist mm -hmm. who are trying to get into the game of music? What advice would you give them right now? You know, like I was saying earlier, you have to have a lot of determination. Go for it, don't take no for an answer and work at it. Don't ever think, mm. don't ever feel comfortable and think, yeah, I've got there, I'm all right. No, keep on working at it. Um, and make sure you get your education because like I say, you know, music is only 5% of the business nowadays. So just get a bit of knowledge under your, under your head mm. about what really goes on behind the music and you know, the marketing. I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. Um, I mean, I mean, on that note, I mean, if anybody wants to, you know, get in contact with you in terms of your music, or perhaps, you know, see you, you know, book you to do a show, how can they do that? Um, you can. I don't know if I can let this one out now. You can. Actually, no. If you Facebook me or Twitter me, you can find me. I don't want to give out the email. Just don't no, <laughs> give, give out what you feel you need to give yeah, out. So this, this is your time to shine. I mean, you're going across the UK and the world right now. Okay. Your time to shine. <laughs> Um, Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Miss Kaja, M I S S K J A H. Twitter, at Miss Kaja again, M I S S K J A H. Um, alternatively, you can go to our website, www.backpayrecords.com. Go on, say that once more. <laughs> I like that. Go on. www.backpayrecords.com, spelled 
B-A-C-P-A-Y Records. Excellent, excellent. Right, on that note, all I can say is thank you so much for letting us interview you for the show. Mm -hmm. And um, have you got anything to say to all the listeners before we leave? Time is on your side. Don't worry, be easy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.